Welcome to another tutorial. Today we're gonna learn how to apply push slide transition effect in Adobe Premiere Pro CC with a motion blur. I have three clips here on my timeline and I want to put this effect between these three clips. Let's start with the first two. So for that you will need to go to the effects and type in push and that's gonna be under the slide folder here effect called push we will just drag and drop this into this clips well it's not always wanted to be at the center so we just click on this particular effect we have applied and it will open this thing here and we will go and put uh, the center at cut and it will be right exactly symmetrically at the center between two clips so let's watch what it brings you right now and yeah that's already pretty good but we want to kind of to make it more smoother and apply some directional blur here motion blur in the middle for that we will just go to back to the effects and we will look for directional blur directional blur and that's right here so we're not going to apply this to both clips because it's a little kind of complicated so we go back to our project bin. It will create new item adjustment layer, and we will drag and drop this adjustment layer right on top here. And probably we'll make it smaller, not as big as the actual transition, but we can just create maybe this kind of size, a little bit stirring outside beyond this particular push effect and then we will go back to the effects and we will grab this directional blur and then we will put this directional blur right on top of this adjustment layer so now nothing's happening because we need to make some adjustments so we here in the effect control and we need to put the amount of the blur here and I would put this right around 60 or so 60 it's a good number for that blur but as you can see it's a vertical lines here and my transition my push goes sideways so I wanted to make it horizontal for that we'll just go ahead and rotate this by dragging this we can rotate this sideways uh, put around like around 90 degrees yeah there you go 90 degrees it will be horizontal and let's look at the clip how that changed okay and here comes the transition all right that looks really good to me this is the push slide transition now uh, for some now you can of course you can make it if you don't want a transition to go for that long you can make it smaller and you can make this uh, blur smaller as well something like that that's very simple but when you go here you see this little arrows here it will show you the direction which which direction it goes now it goes from left to right and let's say I want to go from right to left and it will go a different direction or let's say I want to go from up down it will go that way but for that I would say the directional blur should be changed so we can go here and put this value of the direction back to zero and enter there you go and let's see at this one see that's a push back uh, from top to bottom now if you wanted to make exactly the same transition what you need to do just grab and uh, create another push effect here type another push oops type another push effect push and you grab this <laughs> you grab this push and you put it here between here make it shorter let's see okay that's pretty good push right there and we can click on that push and change the direction let's say let's say this one I want to go do horizontal and I want it to be a little longer okay 
something like that okay so what I will do I will just copy this one and paste here and it will be right in the middle again same thing but I need to change the blur here so we'll go back to the transition and we'll put this to 90 and that will successfully create directional blur directional motion blur that we need so let's play that one okay so let's play the entire clip see how that looks Let me know if this tutorial was helpful for you. Support the channel, like, subscribe, share. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.